Welcome to the Fight Night Daily Podcast from Wotswaf. Did I get it? Did I get it? Go on again. Wotswaf. Wrocław. There you go, get it rocking and rolling. Uh, in the preview of, of Alexander Usyk taking on Daniel Dubois, the unified heavyweight championship of the world taking place this weekend in Poland. Now, Madam Catterall, pleasure to be with you. Pleasure to be in the company of these two fantastic human beings as well. Gareth Dave Davis and Spencer Oliver, who have been here an extra day yeah. to me. I've only just arrived. Whooped into the uh, press conference today, which is taking place at the stadium that the fight is taking place in at the weekend. What an impressive venue, man. Jeez. It is very impressive, to be fair. Yeah, it's going to be um, some atmosphere in there on Saturday night. You know, with Independence Day today, Ukrainian Independence Day, there's going to be a lot of emotions flying around. A lot of Ukrainians actually in this city. There's 250,000 Ukrainians based in this city. It's going, to be, it's going to be some night in there on Saturday night. Hostile atmosphere, mm. I must say, for Daniel Dubois. He's got to be prepared for that. He says that he is. says that he knows what he's going into, but... We'll have to wait and see. You, sa- you sampled a little bit of that yesterday at the open workout, didn't you? Indeed. The, the, the indeed. hostilities. It, oh, absolutely. But also, as we were talking about the stadium and being here, a little bit of culture, throwing a bit of culture, oh, a bit I like of history. That. Yeah, go on. Um, obviously, the artist Ol- Alexander Shlomenko, the portrait that was given to Alexander Usyk today yes. of, of the from the soldiers that he served on, yeah. served with on the front four days, an emotional moment. Yeah. This stadium was the first ever event here, September. The 10th, 2011, was Thomas Adamek and, and Vitaly Klitschko for the Look WBC at this title. Knowledge. Yeah, I'm hoping this on me today. The, the stadium, of course, where Talksport going to be in a couple of weeks with England and Ukraine. Um, and of course, this was built for the Euro 2012 yes, tournament. Of it was, yeah. So there's there's 200. We've mentioned it a couple of times. You know, just to fill you in on the cultural brief, um, we're in Western Poland. Um, there's 250,000 Ukrainians here anyway. Many are refugees from the war, but it's a massive university town, and many uh, there's a big Ukrainian population here who've come here for education and settled here. Oh, so yeah. everywhere you go, the Poles and the Ukrainians are in together. It really is Daniel in the lion's den on, mm-hmm. on Saturday night. To answer your original question, um, we saw it last night mm. at, at, the, at the workouts, the love for Alexander Usyk, but also... He's just a circus act, a dancing cat, Mr. Cat Roll. But he's very good. He's a, he's a, he's a very good fighter as well. What did, you, what did you make of the demeanour of uh, Daniel yesterday in particular at the Open Workout when he got to be around, in and around fans? Do you know what? I, I think that he's dealt with this week really well. I think that, you know, he's um, yeah up to this point, even today in the press conference and whatnot, we've seen a little bit more of... Daniel Dubois than we've seen recently, you know, in the past. That much like, more. Well, but listen, that, that much. Yeah, but it is Come on, more. let's be honest. But, it, that, but it's no, more. No, 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 no. Yeah, that, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, but that it, much more is more. Remember, you're in the Don Charles camp. No, no, no. You're old, mate. Listen to the me, The old mate. pals. I'm listening listen to you, to but me. I'm telling you, Daniel you are Dubois. starting to say... Well, hang on a minute. Welcome no, back, Adam. No, welcome no, back. Hang on. No, 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 no. You haven't been here for two days. He is trying to sell that Daniel Dubois... Who's trying to sell? ...the gates are open and he's walking around... Yes, he's a big strong man. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not not hearing anything different from him. Where do you get that from there? Because we're not hearing anything different. We've seen more from Daniel Dubois than we've seen in the past. That's more, though. But it's more, though. though. (laughs) So what's your point? It's about the size of the gnomes, the 300 gnomes. There's 301 gnomes here, actually. Who's that? Me. I've got a picture. I'll bring it out later. Anyway, (laughs) what did you want to say? Let let him have his say on the Daniel Dubois thing. Yeah, sing a little bit more. Go on. Gareth, please. Can I ask you a question? Just just for one moment, please. How do you think Daniel Dubois dealt with the open workout No, because you're not involved in this bit. Because you talk sense 99% of the time, and that is nonsense. Right, so he he hasn't been more then? No. But you haven't seen any more from Daniel Dubois? No, I've had the same words from him every single fight he goes into. Listen, we've seen more. Anyway, I've seen more. Because he opens what up to me. What have you seen? Because he opens up to Come me. Come on, what have you seen? Yeah, so he's, he's been, um, yeah, he's more confident in his approach. I think he's learned from, he's learned from uh, <laughs> the Joe Joyce defeat. He's come back with four, four, four victories. Mm. But what I'm saying is that I think that that was his first taste at, forget that it was behind closed doors, that was his first taste at, at the big it, level. At, of the big level. Yeah. And I think that that's put him in good stead for this. Going in with 43,000 or 45,000 fans that are going to be in that stadium, mm-hmm. records, by the way, is that, is that correct? If the, uh, yeah. Alexa- but well, well, let me correct you again. Let me correct you again, because I've been speaking to Mr. Krasiuk, who's over there. Alexa- 
They've sold 30 to 35,000 seats. There will be walk-ups. If it's over 42,771, which is the record attendance in the ground, then we have got so, a record. So now. anyway, yeah, we've seen a little bit more from him. <laughs> <laughs> we've I've, seen, I've got we've, to come we've, back we've at seen, you over it, though. We've seen laughing. a bit more from him. Well, we have, but let me say, let, let me just say genuinely now, we have seen a bit more from him. Well, what The thing is with Daniel Dubois... We know he is incredibly powerful with his punches. He's got incredible potential, but we don't know mentally where he's at. Mm. And he doesn't come out saying, I'm going to knock you it's out, you sick. I'm going to do this. But that's and not that. his personality. But, no, I know it's not, but I don't think we're seeing any more that's different to what we've seen before. I think but the are. potential is there. Yeah, listen, the potential is there, but it's, it's whether that potential is enough. Alexander Usyk's boxing IQ is on another level. <laughs> He knows, Don Charles knows, Don Charles is a, has a good relationship with Daniel Dubois and Don Charles because he's experienced this. Are you in the WhatsApp this, group? He's experienced this before. Are you in the I'm WhatsApp I'm in many group? of WhatsApp groups, remember? Many of them. Unlike yourself. So have, you watched please, him, let me speak. have you watched him spar? Right. Have you watched him spar? Who? Daniel Dubois? Yeah. Of course I've watched him spar. You watched him spar in this camp? Of course I've watched tell him spar. Tell us what you've seen. But I'm not going to tell you anything that I've seen because they don't like talking about who they're sparring with. He's been training in Spain up in the altitude. And he's had phenomenal sparring out there. Let me just Is the training that. in Spain he, often on the plane? He's, he's had phenomenal sparring out there. He's prepared like his, to, to the best of his ability. I agree. Whether that's going to be enough on... Listen. I think the key factor here could be speed, right? And boxing IQ and speed. If Usyk gets into any rhythm soon, mm. Daniel says he's going to go out there from round one. He's going to treat it as a six-round fight. He's going to go out there and that's what he's going to do. Right. And that's where we're at. Right. What has he done so far in his professional career? to give anybody the confidence that he can pull this off. Nothing. Again, given the fact Nothing. that he's up in front of 45,000 people away from home yep. and he's up against a magician. Listen, he's done nothing in his career so far that's going to suggest anything but an Alexander um, Usyk win. But one thing he has got is punch power. Very heavy-handed. Very heavy-handed. We know what heavyweight boxing is all about. If you land a shot, the fight turns straight away. And that's where that's that's his hope. That's where and he's an at. opportunity. He's got to get into range and let the shot go. The right hand is key for him. And an opportunity, which will not come around again potentially for another two years if he doesn't win this mm -hmm. to fight for the world title. In my yeah. view. But you, you, you've got you know he's worked his way into that mandatory position. He's WBA it, regular champion, and he's taking with the, the Trevor Bryan yeah. uh, def a victory. Is yeah, but that's, is, the, that's the game, isn't it? That's the game. Yeah, no, it is the game. Yeah, exactly. But, but, but what I'm that's saying, like is, saying well, is that Anthony Joshua become world champion? And he beat Charles Martin. You go really? Yeah, well, but look, the, it, Charles Martin looked pretty good against Jared Anderson the other day. Yeah, listen, who's supposed to be the coming listen, force know, in the heavyweight division? We, listen, now I have, and you know, I love you, but we're on track here today. Come on, Charles Martin's actually got better. Anthony yeah, Joshua. Yeah, since the Joshua. What, since the Joshua fight. Yeah. Yeah, we're, not, we're talking about before the Joshua fight with that situation. Mm. But what I'm saying is, he's worked his way into this position, right? And he's got the opportunity. And boxing is all about opportunity. Yes. You know, and the heavyweight boxing, history of heavyweight boxing is, um, is steeped in upsets, you know? And, and it happens. One punch, Oliver McCall knocking out Lennox Lewis in the second round, come from nowhere. Just look, let the shot go. Sa same Rackman, the same, same thing. What I'm saying is, it can happen. Daniel's got the power, I'm saying, to win the fight. He's he got has. the power, but whether he's got the boxing ability <clears throat> remains to be seen. He has, but he's fighting a guy at the weekend that is very, very, very special. Whether it be yeah, at Cruiserweight absolutely. or even at Heavyweight. I mean, absolutely. a lot of people make a lot of noise, don't they, about... Derek Chisora had success mm -hmm. against uh, Alexander Usyk. We saw uh, Anthony Joshua had a success for three minutes in a particular yep. round against Alexander Usyk. Alexander Usyk, he fights at his pace consistently, yep. and he makes you fight at a pace that you don't necessarily want to fight at. Sure. He controls the space. Absolutely. If you look at the, the prime example of this is the Tony Bellew fight, where a lot of people with their naked eye would look at that Tony Bellew fight and go, Bellew's winning rounds, Bellew's doing this, Bellew's doing that. And, and they're right. But the reason why that's happening is because Alexander Usyk is controlling everything that is happening Usyk, in that fight until he takes him out. Usyk was in second gear and correct. Tony Bellew was in Absolutely fifth gear. Absolutely correct. And that's where you're at. Bellew you said he so makes you work. focused for every second of the yeah, fight. Yeah, but he Bellew, said he's so he? tired. And is this the danger with <clears throat> Daniel Dubois at the and weekend? And exhausted him. Yeah. I think it is. That's why Daniel has got, I think, five or six fantastic potential rounds in him. Think of it as a six-round shootout. Go for that as a shootout because afterwards, I think he's going to be mentally and I think physically he, exhausted. I think, I think that's how he's taking it, yeah. the approach anyway yeah. I think they know that you know Don Charles knows that they know you know they know what they have to do they know what they have to do I think Derek Chisora showed a little bit of the blueprint on how to beat 
Alexander Usyk, as in by roughing him up, using your physical size. Did Usyk not let him do that? that? Well, he, he said that he let him do that, but I don't believe that any yeah, fighter lets you do that. Uh, yeah, that I, yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I think he was luring for the AJ fight. I don't think any fighter does that. If any fighter, trust me, like... From a fighter's mentality, if they can go in there and get the job done, I don't think like to try and get a fight you would allow someone. It's heavyweight boxing, man. One and, shot turns it yeah, around. But, yeah, but listen, yeah. it is heavyweight boxing. Yeah. Think about the politics of this game of fights that are not being made. Yeah. You have got to lure somebody to get mm -hmm. the big fight. You've got to lure somebody mm -hmm. in to give that to make them That's believe. That's a mastermind strategy to do that, though, isn't it? He's a mastermind, this kid. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, I, I, I'm so. I, I agree with you, but it's some mastermind strategy to put that on Where, to be it, able to say that. Like you said, by right. the way, I could have knocked out Joshua in the first fight, but um, Lomachenko Sr. said, don't, because we want a rematch. Do you know what the un unusual thing about it's Alexander psychology Usyk as well, is? Though. The unusual thing about Alexander Usyk is, we still don't know how good he is. That is a fact, right? Forget to, is he getting better then? No, well, listen, what I'm saying is, if he goes and boxes um, Tyson Fury and he beats Tyson Fury, mm. where does that rank him oh, so up there with the all-time great. Great. All great? What I'm yeah. saying is, we don't know how that fight's going to go. So mm. we, we really don't know. Look, who would have given Usyk the, the nod in front of um, Anthony Joshua in that first fight going in? I think that a lot of the majority of people and pundits thought that... Joshua would be too big and overpower Usyk. I think that and when you saw Usyk and the way that he delivered that performance in that first fight, you just recognised, this kid's better than I actually thought. Deontay, I was one Deontay Wilder, Alexander Usyk, what happens? Go on, Ad. Usyk dances around him. No, Wilder ices him. What? Spence? Remember what you said on Saturday yeah, night? Yeah, I do, now? yeah. What did you say? I did say Wilder, Wilder would probably ice him. I think we're dealing with a, a special, special talent with Alexander Usyk. I really do. Yeah, you're right. I think he's a very, very special talent. And I wouldn't even go as far as to say that it's an absolute, absolute God-given right that Tyson Fury beats him. I think it's... No, a, no, it's a not, a, not a God-given right that anyone beats Alexander Usyk because he has yeah. the skills to pay well, those I, 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 I think that we're in a position where we still don't know how good he is. That's, that, mm. that is it's, true. It's, it might say that we we, it's a great story. And we won't find that out, I think, until he boxes someone like Tyson, Tyson Fury. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Um, Press conference, who was the star for you? Oh, it's got to be Alexander Usyk. Yeah? He was the star at the workouts yesterday when he started. <laughs> it was brilliant, wasn't it? Mm, for those yeah. that are just listening to this, Gareth is now dancing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'd love to get up and dance. I mean, he talked to us about it. Have a look at it on the YouTube channel. It's something that he does at the end of every training session. Mm. Um, he also, by the way, calls himself the underdog going into this fight, which means he hasn't um, left a stone unturned. Usyk... Treats it as being the challenge. We, we heard we Slava Ukraini today. Long live Ukraine. We we had the presentation of the uh, of the. I know you're heading towards Prince Nassim Hamid, but it was Alexander Usyk. Do you think? Yeah. So it's always yeah. Naz. When Naz no, is here, Naz, he's always Naz, Naz, Naz was a star of the show, man. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. <laughs> no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. <laughs> it's great to be around Naz all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously Na, he's here because obviously his son is making his parole chief debut. Chief support. Yeah. Wait, let what me, do you uh, make uh, of Usyk uh, calling Tyson Fury the Gypsy Queen, though? What do you mean? What do you make of that? What, what, why is he calling Fury the Gypsy Queen? Well, I think he's putting it's, it's, it on Tyson Fury as to why that fight wasn't made earlier mm. on this year. He's yeah. pointing that in that direction. Why? What do you make of it? Yeah, I just think he's trying to goad him. He's trying to goad him because he wants that fight. Because mm. the, the fight that defines Usyk ultimately will be that Fury fight. Yeah, you know, he, agree. He said, don't you remember that interview way back when he said, um, I think when he'd beaten Anthony Joshua the f second time, he said, the only fight I want is Tyson Fury. Yeah, of course. Because he's yeah. interested in legacy. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. He's definitely yeah. interested in legacy and old. That's why he's going through all these mandatories. I, yeah. Absolutely. Because he might fight Flip Hergovic next. He might, um, he might be forced to. Yeah. Because of the way that the politics in boxing uh, does play out. But just a quick one on Adam Hamed. Yeah. He, seemed to, he, seemed, he seems to be handling the, it, the spotlight very, it, very well. Obviously, his dad did it incredibly well. But when you've got a famous father like that, You've got a lot of pressure. You've been given the core <laughs> main event of uh, undisputed, well, unified heavyweight yeah. championship of the world fight at the weekend. That got a lot of pressure with that on your on your debut. Absolutely. Listen, he's got the DNA, mate. He's got the DNA, and that and that is it. You know, he's a chip off the old block. You know, he's handled the pressure really well. And by the way, we know what Naz is like. Naz wouldn't let this kid go in there unless he could really yeah. fight, because you know that, that he would not do that. And I just think that Adam, he's going to put on a performance. To be fair, I think he's going to um, yeah go out there and he's going to. He's not going to steal the show because it's all about. This is all about Alexander Usyk. This you is can't all about, steal the show. In this yeah, no, no, no. But what I'm, what, yeah, but, on the line, no, of course not. But what I'm saying yeah. is, he's going to go I out there and try and make a real big impression. And uh, and I think he'll do that, by the way, as well. I think that. Yeah, I think we're going to have some fun with him. I think he's going to be a, a brilliant character, and really good for the sport. 
He's, he's massive for a massive super lightweight. He really is. He's in great shape. Yeah. In great shape. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing him on the scales tomorrow. See where he's at. Hopefully yeah. everything goes well uh, overnight with uh, weight cuts because that's what we're going to be bringing you tomorrow. We're going to be bringing you uh, a wee bit of a weigh-in. And then I'm extremely excited to get back here on Saturday uh, for this event because like the boys have all alluded to there, 40-odd thousand people going absolutely wild. We'd be, we cry out for this, don't we? I mean, yeah. we? We've been blessed quite, obviously, over the last five to six years, we've been blessed by going to all these fantastic stadiums, mainly in the UK, some around the world, to sample mm. uh, top-level fights. There is something quite unique about heavyweight championship fights. Regardless of who's in it, I know that it might not necessarily be the fight that you want to see. You wanted to see Usyk Fury. I get that completely. But I've only been here, what, for eight hours. I've just literally got off a plane and come here and there's already a buzz there's around a, this a, fight. There's a really big fight feel. <clears throat> it's got the cultural elements of being here, as we talked about at the top of the show, the historical element. We've got the war narrative at the moment as well, but believe it or not. Frank Warren spoke beautifully, I yeah, thought, did. Yeah, about did. it earlier, where he said this is a, a fight between two men, a war between two men with rules, and it's the way things should be decided when you have disagreements or you have people at war and champions together. Um, I, I just think it's... Alexander Usyk is a very special character in our sport. I think he transcends it. I think he crosses over. The narrative here as well, uh, the narrative arc is if um, Daniel Dubois wins, Bob Arum and, and Frank Warren control the entire chess mm -hmm. game of the heavyweight division. Yeah. Obviously, it's a big if. That plays into it all as well. Mm -hmm. But I think we are maybe at the semi-final stage of having the biggest fight we're ever going to cover in our lives, potentially, yeah. um, over in the Middle East between Yusik and Fury, because I think that fight will come true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Undisputed championship fights. Last one, 1999. We need it, don't we? The heavyweight division needs it. I think boxing in general is is on fire, but the majority of the mainstream audience that are consuming this through talk sport, the casual, yeah. they will always look to the heavyweight division as to what the narrative is in boxing. Mm. And it's been disappointing. Let's be dead honest. I mean, this is the first fight that Usyk's had for over 12 months. Yeah. Fury's only fought once, and that was Derek Chisora in the last 18 months since he's mandatory against uh, Dillian White. Obviously, we've had two from AJ, where, which is, with all due respect, substandard opponents for an Anthony Joshua type of fight. We need something big, don't we? This is a big one. This is a big one at the weekend. We've got a young, hot prospect coming through. Yes, he's up against it, against a, a real talent, generational talent. But if he, if he can pull it off, then blooming heck, we've got a superstar on our hands, haven't we, at the weekend? Yeah. But even if he doesn't pull it off, there'll be plenty of time for Dubois to come again. And then hopefully, as Gareth just alluded to there, Usyk Fury is next. It has to be next. Uh, listen, yeah. I, it's been frustrating. It has been frustrating for, for us, the boxing fans. But you do get a sense that it is getting closer. We are getting very close. Yeah. There he is again. There he is again. Yeah, is it that much? <laughs> yes. Uh, listen, we're going to... From, no, can we just say... Oh, yeah, you can say what you want. No, no, we can't. Ed, our producer, is saying we well, can't. if you want to say it, you no, say it. You're in I, charge. I just want to say it's been... It's a delight to be with the 301st gnome in Rotswaf. They won't get the that. They won't get days. that. No, but they, won't, they, won't, they won't get it, mate. There's a lot of norms around They'll the city. They'll be screaming other stuff at the screen right yes, now, mate, will. but I'll they leave will. that to your imagination. They, they will. will. Listen, make sure you subscribe uh, to the YouTube channel, the boxing YouTube channel here at Talk Sport, because we're going to be bringing you another episode tomorrow from the... What are you doing? What are... I'm about to wrap the show up, man, and you're showing pictures of norms. There you go. Get a zoom in on that. Go on, Patrick. There you go. There's a lot of these around the city of Wrocław. There you go. 300 of them, and he's alluding to this man here as being the 301st. You've anyway. been a great sport. Anyway, uh, make sure you tune in to our uh, YouTube channel uh, here on TalkSport. We'll be bringing you episode three uh, from Usyk Dubois Fight Week uh, tomorrow. Of course, we'll have live streams and, and what have you. And then the fight night, make sure you're tuning in Saturday night from 9 o'clock live on TalkSport.